am from here. I have a husband and a child, and I um, grew up in a you know deep east Texas, and so there was um, only Baptist churches around where I came from, and so I grew up missionary Baptist, and I learned a whole bunch through um, like that we had amazing kids groups and um, even youth and all that. It was it was awesome, but dance it's not like um, dance was never frowned upon or talked about whatsoever and so it was never an idea in my head I never seen it anywhere um, it was never anything that we weren't allowed to do it was just never something that we ever tried to do because I never knew of it um, and I was there in that um, in that setting from birth till uh, I was an uh, early teenager uh, but even when we got out of that denomination we were in another one there still wasn't any dance and so it was never anything that I was not allowed to do and so um, so I don't feel like I had to come up against that like some of um, some of you or some of the ladies in our group. Um, and so it was just brand new for me um, to dance in general at church. It was just never thought of. And uh, But I've always been move, moving. I've always been into movement. Um, now, even now, my um, I'm a personal trainer and movement is medicine to me. And so I'm all about moving. And, um, and so dancing has also always been just, you know, secularly or at home or whatever. I've always um, moved. I've never been um, trained in dance in any kind of way. Um, unfortunately, I think that would be real cool, but I'm working on it. So even at 29, I plan on getting educated in some dance. And that is actually a topic of today's discussion um, is, is that very point right there is that I'm not an educated dancer, but I'm still dancing. So whenever I first started dancing, it was honestly, I don't know um, how long ago, but it was here at Kingdom Rising, and um, we started individually dancing, I guess, here and there, but mostly flagging. And I was always like, no, give me some flags. I am not about that. Um, it was mostly just probably, if I look back at it, I can't remember the actual feelings in that moment, but it was fear like of somebody looking at me and me not being enough, me not being like, I'm not educated, I don't know how to do that. So no, I need to learn first or um, I was never really against it, um, but I felt like I needed to know first. I needed to do it by myself, nobody watching me. Um, now, as you see me, I don't care about that, but I had to get to that point. Um, but it started, and I honestly don't know how long ago, but Dana, our apostle, she had called me out. She said, Tammy, calm dance. I said, yes, ma'am. And so um, there was that timing of where I was like, no, I'm not doing this. I even had, um, we had a prophet, I don't exactly know who it was, but um, he had prophesied over me that I would be dancing. And I kind of just laughed. I was like, that's funny, not gonna happen, or at least that's funny. Um, I never saw me as a dancer um, ever. I'm not that graceful and aggressive and a um, whole bunch of power and all these things. And so I never saw me as dancing, like I'll flag and you know, I'm comfortable over here, but um, anyway, so he said I would be dancing and now look at me, I am. But that's where it started was, uh, for the dancing part of it anyways for me, was when Dana called me out and um, and I had a dance in me and um, and it happened, I danced and I think I've been dancing since and um, I have grown and um, I have expanded, I've gotten more confident and just doing whatever I'm supposed to do, not because I'm better or anything like that, which you do gain, you know, new moves and skills and stuff like that as you go on. But um, I've just gained that confidence in the Lord that he has me and whatever he wants me to do. I don't really care what anybody thinks anymore. And that's where we should be. That's how it started. And the only way that I was able to actually step out and say yes was because of humility and so that's one of the little um, one of the topics in in my subject that I'm talking about today is having humility because um, humility brings freedom and that's how we advance and go further and have a true heart and so um, I have a couple scriptures God supports and strength this is Psalms 147 6 God supports and strengthens the humble um, but the ungodly will be brought down to the dust that tells us whole bunch. God supports and strengthens. That's exactly what he did whenever I went without worrying about self. I went and he supported me and he strengthened me and he gave me exactly what was needed. There is, we dance, but dance is, we don't dance. It's not like this 
special thing. It's a form of praise. Um, and as you, if you can read the Psalms anywhere or in multiple places, um, praise, there's all kinds of ways to praise. And in oh, Psalm, I mean, you, you've heard this scripture a lot, um, and you're going to hear it a whole bunch more, but Psalms 149.3, it says to praise the Lord and dance. I saved it so that I could have like the actual, you know, the way it's said. There it is. Let them praise his name with the dance. Let them sing praises to him with the timbrel and, and harp. I don't know how to say that. But so let them praise his name with the dance. And if you read many places where it says let them praise in lifting their hands and this and that, um, which other places, you know, that everybody knows all the other forms of praise, but, but dance. So we know that we can praise him in our dance. So how do we do that? So humility is that first thing. I said that what I have first on my list. So being humble is the first thing that we can do, and then we can praise. Um, so we praise him in our, in our humility. Um, and the subject of today is praising him in dance. We talked about humility, and that is how we actually step out into things. So we're talking about stepping out and then imparting to others, right? So um, being humble, and then we're talking about praising him and dancing in the praise. So how do we dance um, with humility, and then how do we impart to others? So... Let, now that I'm getting back on track, I wanted to read to you the definition of impartation or to impart um, so that we can get, you know, clear idea of what I'm talking about here. So impartation has to do with the giving and receiving of spiritual gifts, blessings, healing, baptism of the Holy Spirit, etc. For the work of the ministry, it is the transfer, transference of these gifts from one man or woman to of God to another, especially through the laying on of hands. So whenever the impartation which i'm sure you hear a lot especially in dance or prayer or anywhere um it's whenever you are giving or receiving right you're imparting something to or from um and i from experience um through the dance have been imparted to many times and i've had um people tell me like you ministered to me um so much today and i'm just like thank you jesus that's literally the only reason i'm down here doing anything in front of anybody um is to is for what happens in the spirit for each individual person that's there that's not there in the area for for like for that reason. So another um, definition of impart says to give, convey, or grant from as if from a store to to communicate the knowledge of. So whenever we're imparting things, it's so much that we don't understand really. Um, but it's it's more than just this one little thing. Um, it's things that build for one. So whenever you get something, you get something else the next time that builds on what you've already gotten or what you've received um, or given. And um, and so and it can be received in different kind of ways. Um, so whenever I'm dancing, you're receiving something in a different kind of way. So that's, I don't even know what I'm trying to say there. Um, so synonyms for in part are communicate conduct, convey, give, spread, transfer, transfuse, and transmit. So I like that transfer one. That's one that we use a lot, I feel like, in, um, in the church, you know, when we're transferring uh, one to another. Um, the act of imparting something such as knowledge or wisdom, a granting or communication of something held in store, um, which is what we are. We are the store, and we're granting, we're transferring, we're imparting that communication of some way. So dance is like a form of communication. Um, and you receive it in different ways. Um, I've received dance from dance. Not everybody's going to receive, like I said, you're not, you know, you're know, you going to get deliverance in one area over here. Or you can receive, like, um, Gloria Zion, when we go there, what I get, like, I, I want to go to get imparted to, honestly. Um, I want to give as well, but that is really where I go and get that dance, like, um, what they, I, re I receive, I can feel it deep in my bones, um, the receiving from them, and I can see it when we, um, every time we go, I get a little bit, and I grow, and I build on that, um, and it's amazing, and then somebody else gets imparted to from that. So that's like the main topic of today, if I could ever get there, is the way is imparting to one another. Um, so if we hadn't done, for instance, when somebody tells me, you minister to me through your dance, if I hadn't done that, would they have been ministered to the same way? 
So we each have something to impart to someone. Mine is through dance and through many other forms. Um, but you do too. We all have something to impart to somebody. Um, I have some scripture, scriptures I'm going to read um, about that, about how God imparts to us. And then I'm going to read another section on us imparting to each other. Um, just so that you have scripture to back it up. I didn't want to get on here and say a single word without having scripture to back it up because that's what's most important. So God imparting to us is Romans 12. This is where the passage that I was going to read from today was Romans 12. Romans 12, 3 through 6. And so I'm going to go ahead and read that because that's what's first. And then, you know, God imparting to us and then us imparting to others. So God has given me grace to speak a warning about pride. I would ask each of you to be emptied of self-promotion. Is this the right thing? Yes, it is. Which is this where the humility comes in. Um, and not create a false image of your importance. Instead, honestly assess your worth by using your God-given faith as the standard of measurement, and then you will see your true value with an appropriate self-esteem. This is in the Passion Translation, by the way. In the human body, there are many parts um, and organs, each with a unique function, and so it is in the body of Christ. For though we may, for though we are many, we've all been mingled into one body in... Christ. This means that we are all virtually joined to one another, with each contributing to others. God's mar Did you hear that? With each contributing to others. God's marvelous grace imparts to each one of us varying gifts and ministries that are uniquely ours. Uniquely ours. We each have a part to give. Right? So if God has given you the grace gift of prophecy, you must activate your gift by using the, the uh, proportion of faith you have to prophesy. And then it goes on and on about each of the things that if God has given you this, then that's your portion you need to give. 1 Corinthians 12.7 um, is talking about how we each have a revelation um, and we each do for, for, other, for others. Um, so my main topic today was that impartation. Um, and how I got, how, what, what I recognize in me is in the beginning, I thought that I wasn't good enough. Um, and then in that scripture where it was talking about, you know, um, reevaluate your importance. Um, like who am I to think that I'm not good enough? It doesn't matter that I'm not educated in dance or that I have, that I don't have actual skills, you know, that are taught, um, because God gives them to me and it doesn't matter. And, um, and that's the same for you. So if you feel like, even if you are filled to call to dance, since you know this is the page we're on, but even if it's something else, if you feel unqualified, it isn't true. If, if God is calling you to do it, step into it because somebody else is waiting for you to impart something to them. Um, and so this is literally one of the things that we're down is God wants you to know that you are enough. You are equipped because he equips you. Remember where it says he supports and strengthens you. If you looked up the definition of those words, I would have, but I didn't have time. It's probably going to say something like that is he equips you. Um, he supports you. That's what that is. And he strengthens you. Um, you are worthy and you are capable. That's one of the big things that I live on in life is why I am a personal trainer is to make people capable. Um, but you need to be reminded that you are capable. You are able to do it. Just step out into it and remember to reevaluate re your self-worth um, and that it's whatever you're basing it on isn't even true. Um, that to step out in it even when, like I was saying for me, um, even when you're not educated. Even when you don't have the skill or you think you don't have the skill, God will give it to you. And it's important to do it because somebody is waiting for you to impart something to them. My prayer for you is to be able to humble yourselves before the Lord, to respond in new ways, not old ways, not the ways you used to respond, but to respond in new ways and to receive what God wants for you, for you to have and for you to give. That doubt leaves and faith fills you. Yes, that all doubt leaves every part of your being. It leaves your atmosphere, wherever you're at and wherever it is you're supposed to step into. I pray that that doubt goes in Jesus' name. Um, that you recognize, that's the big one, because we deny that at first usually because we don't recognize it probably because we don't want to because it's uncomfortable. But I pray that you recognize his call on your life in every area, in every, every area. All of the all of the time all of the spaces not just the ones over here where you're like okay I can step out on that but in all of them in all the areas that you just recognize his call on your life 
um, and that you are able to step out into it because you are, are humbling yourself. Um, that praise, yes, y'all, I wrote a prayer down because it was just flowing, and so I'm giving it to you right now, but I wrote down, that praise is your warfare. So I didn't touch on praise too much, but it was a, um, that's the number one thing we have to do, y'all. Praise is your warfare and the first response to the enemy and his attacks that you grow and learn and go deeper and deeper that the depths of your being search for the depths of the Father. Yeah, so there was a scripture that I found in here. Um, I can't remember if it was supposed to be in my notes or not, but um, it was talking about how praise, which this is, this is actually very important because, um, you know, when we're called to dance and it's a form of praise, um, like when we're using that as a praise to the Father, um, then it cancels, destroys the enemy, breaks things on people, on areas in your life and somebody else's life. And that's why it's so important also for you to do it because if you're called to do something, then you're going to participate in breaking these things. But it talks about, well, I don't remember which scripture it was, but um, it was talking about God. All they did was praise. Uh, I have the scripture. They, all they did was praise and pray. And the enemies... Not only, not only did the enemies get destroyed, but they destroyed each other. Um, and I thought that was real good. I like that a bunch. So all we got to do is praise and pray and step out and do these things God wants us to do. Let's, let's do it, dude. Um, anyway, so I pray that you grow that you, or that you rest, that you war, that you serve, and that you worship and praise and love in him with all that you are in Jesus' name. So that's my prayer to you. And um, I hope that you got um, a little bit more out of, you know, that word impartation and how important it is um, to be able to step out so that you can impart to others.